In this video, we will learn how to perform actions on a user task. Let's continue using the same example used on previous videos for an order management process. In the order management process, we have a user task called order approval task. Let's take some specific actions on this order approval task, such as the task complete, and try to complete the user task. So for a given process instance ID, we are able to retrieve the order approval task. Also in the same response, we can see the ID for the task. This task instance ID can be used in subsequent calls to perform any actions on a user task. Let's now copy the task instance ID from the response we got, and let's go to the API menu to perform actions on a user task. To perform an action on a user task, we need a post call to workflow slash v1 slash task, which is followed by a task instance ID. So here in the endpoint, let's paste the task instance ID, which we got from the previous request. Now, in the body of the post call, we must provide an action that we want to take on a particular user task. In this example, we would like to complete the user task to move the process execution forward. The other possible actions which can be provided in the request body are claim, delegate, and resolve. Let's move ahead with the complete action and complete the user task. We now see the API has run successfully and the response is 200 which means that the task has been completed and the process instance execution has moved ahead. And that's it. That's how we perform actions on a user task based on the task instance ID. For more information on this and other services, please go to developer.opentext.com.